A few weeks ago, one of my friends recommended the film Hard Candy. Hard Candy is a 2005 thriller starring Elliot Page and Patrick Wilson. The film at times can be pretty difficult to watch. And don't get me wrong, it's not a bad film. In fact, it's actually pretty good. However, there are a lot of scenes in the film that are pretty intense. There are plenty of reasons why the film can be so intense at times, but I'd like to focus on just one, the way the film uses its semantics and its syntactics. But what are semantics and syntactics in movies? These terms were first coined by Rick Altman in an essay titled A Semantic Syntactic Approach to Film Genre, written in 1984. Semantics are basically the things in the film that are front and center, whereas the syntactics of a movie are the underlying meanings in a movie. Let's use the first John Wick as a really quick example of this. You have a cool looking protagonist, you have a bunch of gang henchmen, you got guns, you got fighting, and you got action. All of those things are the film's semantics. These are all the things that are front and center. But the film isn't about cool gunfights. John Wick is a film about revenge. Throughout the entire movie, John Wick is seeking revenge against the people that killed his dog. In other words, the syntactics of the film is revenge. But why make this distinction at all? Well, the main reason is that semantics and syntactics are not necessarily tied to one another. You can have a movie that has all of the same semantics as John Wick and not have it be about revenge. And likewise, you can have a movie about revenge and have it look nothing like John Wick. Does that make sense? So now that that's out of the way, what are the semantics and syntactics of hard candy and why does it matter? Let's first start with the syntactics of the film. The syntactics of Hard Candy is vigilante justice. The main character, Haley, is a 14-year-old girl who tracks down a 32-year-old photographer named Jeff. Haley tracks him down because she knows that Jeff is a pedophile, a rapist, and a murderer who is involved in the disappearance and death of a local girl named Donna. Haley is seeking justice for what happened to Donna. That's what the movie is about. The semantics in this film are what I would refer to as gritty realism. The movie starts with a 14-year-old girl who meets up with a 32-year-old guy. They both meet at a coffee house, and then Jeff asks Haley if she would like to come over to his place. This eventually leads to the two of them drinking screwdrivers and Jeff not realizing that his drink has been tampered with. And after falling unconscious, Jeff wakes up to find himself tied to a chair. This brings us to the main semantics that we see throughout the film. You have one person who's drugged the other person in their own house in order to hold them hostage so that they can obtain something. In this case, Haley wants to obtain information regarding Donna's death. The semantics of the film place Jeff, a character that we ought to be against, in a vulnerable position throughout most of the movie. Outside of the start of the movie, there are never any moments where he truly has the upper hand. This is accomplished by mimicking the semantics of other horror and thriller movies. Influences from films about a stranger breaking into somebody's house to films about torture are all seen in this film. And this is where some of the tension comes from when watching the movie. The film simultaneously tells you that Jeff is a piece of shit while also putting him in situations that are typically reserved for innocent victims. Likewise, Haley's character is simultaneously shown to be somebody looking for justice while also being portrayed in the same way as a villain. Haley, Look, this is some I horrible mistake. Lonely, just untie me now. We'll forget stupid. this whole thing. And like happened. Just untie me now! In short, the syntactics of the film is about vigilante justice, but the semantics of the film don't tell that story in a way that we would normally expect. And that's a good thing. Just think about it. 
Think about how many comic book films you've seen that involve vigilante justice that romanticize it. There's plenty of people out there who would love to see themselves as either a Batman, an Iron Man, or even a Punisher. But what would vigilante justice look like in the real world? Hard Candy is a film that I believe answers this question. It's messy, it's dirty, and it does not look pretty. Using semantics in a unique way allows the filmmakers to show vigilante justice in a way that certain audience members may have never seen if their only experience with seeing vigilante justice in films is a comic book movie. All in all, Hard Candy is a great film that you should definitely watch. It shows how a movie can use semantics not normally associated with certain syntactics and vice versa. Let me know if you can think of any other films that do the same thing. Mm -hmm.